Hello guys, welcome once again. In the video number 134, I have shown you how to read a file or load a text file into your text box or JTEXT area. So in that video, I have shown you how to load a text file. For example, I have some text file and I select it and it loads the text file into my text area or text box okay so now a lot of you guys have asked me uh, to give a code how this uh, text area content can be printed out so uh, in this video I will show you how to print the content in the text area so for this for uploading or for showing the text uh, file into the text area I have shown you in the video number 134 whose title is like this Java Prog 134 how to read the entire text file and display it in the JTEX field or JTEX area so I'm just extending that uh, code and I will now add a code to print that this whole uh, text which is there in the text file so for example when I press this button this print frame will come before me and if you have uh, PDF or Adobe install in your system then it will show Adobe PDF also but I don't have it so the default is Microsoft F XPS document and when I press print it says printing in process and when I and it asks me to give a name of the print so I will name it as print why it's coming like that okay so print and when I press ok yeah, or save then printing will be done and when printing is done then it will show you done printing okay so this I'm going to tell you in this video and when your printing is done then you will be able to see a file which is in the form of XPS file so that I will show you in this video so this is a XPS file which is created and when I open it it's in the form of XPS file all the text which is there in the text area so let's see the code really fast so what I have done is this is the code for reading the file so if you want the code for that just go to video number 134 now in this video I have added this uh, print button so go to your palette and take a print button and just go right click it go to event action and action perform and in this I have written this code so first of all write a try catch block and in the catch write printer exception E so this is the printer exception if this gives you some error while writing then just right click it and fix import so your fix imports for thing, uh, printer will be fixed okay and just write j option pane dot show message dialog null comma e so it will show any exception for printer now in the try block just write this code so write boolean complete is equal to j text area 1 which is your uh, text area name variable name this is jtextarea1 
and dot print so boolean complete is equal to j text area one dot complete if and copy this variable and write in the condition if complete then in the if condition show a uh, j option pane so j option pane dot show dialog and in the bracket write null comma done printing so this is the message you will get whenever the printing is complete comma whatever you want to give the name of your j option pane title so give here i am giving information comma j option pane dot information message so this is the information type of j option pane that's why it's information message or else write j option pane dot show dialog and in the bracket null comma printing this is a message i'm passing if it's not complete comma printer this is the title of the j option pane and comma j option pane dot error message okay so this icon will come in your j option pane so write this code to print the document if you want you can just copy the code also i will make it visible in your screen so just pause the video and copy the code and once again when i right click it and run the program and i once again choose a text file from here so some text file yeah this one select and open text file is open in the text area and then when i press print the print frame will come and you select select uh, your type of document you can do some page setting if you want mono chrome color whatever you want to select number of coffee copies and just press print so it will show printing in process just give the name if your printer is installed then it will not show this give name and all that so it will directly print your uh, j text area but in my case it's not uh, printed right now so that's why it's asking me for the name so i will say save and then the printing is complete and now i go to see my print file and i right click it and open it with xps viewer because it's in uh, xps file and you can see it's there so in this way you can print uh, the content of jtx area or jtx box with the help of your netbeans java project i hope you have learn something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now